In this vlog, you're gonna see all the beautiful specs of this beautiful mosque that is Fessel Mosque, and you're definitely gonna enjoy here, like I did. I came here around the time of 4 p.m. and the month was July. So Fessel Masjid or Fessel Mosque, you have the number here as well, and it's basically in Shah Fessel Avenue, E8 Islamabad. You have a number here as well, 9251-285-4. 860 but we be aware that nobody's gonna you know pick up the call sometimes so this mosque you can reach here by your car if your house is away you can get her by uber kareem or any other you know cab facility obviously on your bike like i did i came here on bike my house is really far from here but i got on the bike you can also get on bicycle you know if you're feeling adventurous and by foot depending upon how far is your house so first let's talk about the weather the history the history of this Faisal Mosque is that this mosque was built by an Arab king, Faisal bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He basically gifted it to Pakistan and you can see how beautiful this mountain and the greenery where this mosque is in the middle. So this mosque here, the weather when I came was in July or maybe June and the weather was quite pleasant in Islamabad so you can definitely enjoy the time here obviously it was really hot in the noon so we came here in around the evening time and you can see how beautiful this mosque is surrounded by so many people people come here to pray people come here to enjoy and see the history of it people come here to find peace I cannot even emphasize on the fact that I came here and prayed my Maghrib prayer over here and how satisfying was it, how peaceful it was, especially the best part and benefit about it is that the women can also come here and pray. So the place is for not only for men, but also for women and for children and for elders, everyone, you know, of any age group. They have this parking for cars and for bike over here and then you after you're gonna park your vehicle you have to go from here on foot obviously they give you this ticket for like 20 to 30 rupees maybe it's 40 or 50 now you have to keep the token with you of your vehicle because otherwise they're not gonna let your vehicle go out so we were going on foot like totally on foot after we parked our vehicles there so if you find a very close spot to it that's really good otherwise the spot where you will park your vehicles you have to go from here on foot towards the mosque when you're going towards the mosque you will see that there are a beautiful mountains back there and you can also see the mesmerizing view of monal restaurant when i was entering this mosque i saw different stalls of glasses and you know people were there with this structure of this mosque which was i think it's broken maybe that's why someone threw it away but it was still a beautiful model of the mosque and you can see the weighing scale people are like taking 20 30 rupees for the weighing maybe 50 depends upon if you want to give them 100 just to help them you know and then there are different stalls for you know like snacks not a lot but okay so now we have entered here there's some rules and regulations which you must keep in mind because you know you can't play like music and one of the things is that you have to take care of your belongings, your even your slippers, obviously, because if you're not going to take care of that, you're going to go from here barefoot. So this place here has a library as well, more like a bookstore. So while I was going here, you have to take off your shoes and then you have to go here barefoot. From till the stairs, I had to take off my sandals and I've placed them in separate compartments so that no one could understand where the other shoe is. I would do that, I will show it how. So people are playing here. There is this washroom over there where you can do wudu, where you can, you know, get yourself fresh. And the stairs are going upstairs. So basically there are two floors here. As for my sandals, I'm gonna put one in this compartment and on in the other because, you know, I don't wanna go home without my sandals barefoot. So what I did was I placed one of the shoe here in one of the rack on one of my sandals here and my other sandal away towards another rack. So that was kind of a condition with which you can save your sandals, your shoes from getting stolen. Okay, so um, as I stepped here on this, you know, floor, the floor was not really warm, but it was not really, you know, not cold as well. It was medium. I was easily able to walk on it. And then there are these wudu stations where you can do your wudu. It is only place for wudu. And this place here is where the fountain works. But right now it's not working. So the kids are like taking slides. Families are enjoying. Everyone is happy. In mosque, people tend to feel this peace in them with which they get the excitement and they get this 
happiness okay these stairs are taking us above towards the praying area these are quite long stairs so you have to make sure that if you have elderly people you have to bring them on like wheelchairs and i don't think so i've seen any lifts here or if even there were i don't know if they're working properly because we went towards the praying area from the stairs so these are the stairs as well from which you can go uh, towards the facile mosque and you can see these kids you know how they're taking slides so these are the two pillars of the mosque basically there are four pillars but i've shown you two right now okay so as i'm stepping up i'm gonna see this beautiful tiles everywhere and the people are also cleaning it you know the best part about it is it's being cleaned regularly so that people come here and enjoy the peacefulness with you know the cleanliness have you ever noticed that whenever you have a clean bedroom you will see this immense you know peace inside you and when there is like garbage everywhere your room is messy you will totally feel the sense of uneasiness so another reason why we were feeling peaceful here because we were walking barefoot you will see here uh there was an old man he was going barefoot and obviously from all of these stairs towards the praying area and i believe he's going to have a lot of good deed because he's totally struggling to go from these stairs and pray <laughs> This area here is only for men where men can pray the women has to pray outside in their praying area the chandelier here is mesmerizing it's really beautiful in here the mics were totally set up and people were getting ready for their mug repair here so you can see how clean this area is and how beautiful with all the lights especially this chandelier it was really beautiful people are gathering here people are totally towards you know going for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pray and to pray their maghrib prayer and i believe that the men inside here would have felt an immense peace to be very honest so everyone was gathering here everyone was getting ready for play which was very beautiful because whosoever will come here to visit the mosque they're definitely gonna pray so the benefit here is totally you're gonna get which is enjoying the weather enjoying everything and also enjoying the good deeds which are gonna go into your book these are some of the qurans and it's more like a museum of quran as well small kind of a museum so you can see all these quran that quran was written by i guess hazrat ali razi talana anyway we went outside and we saw that the sky was totally blue and we could totally understand how much people are going to enjoy this weather now again so you can see monal over here which i was talking about this whole way leads towards monal restaurant which is quite an expensive restaurant by the way and you can have less pricey deals in downtown monal so if you're just going for food don't go here if you're going for a view obviously go there so this mosque was a gift by saudi king as i've told you and the best part about this mosque is how we enjoy the views the clouds the mountains and not to mention our prayers as well people were totally walking here and there and were sitting here and there it was like a spiritual picnic for them to be very honest and there is no ticket here you don't need a ticket and these were the stairs which would take us back to the area where we came from when we were coming you know the people were the people were taking slides and all so you will definitely get the view as well now it all depend upon you where you want to go and where you want to but take which stairs i haven't seen the lift here if there is please comment down below and those three buildings are of uh, centaurus mall so centaurus mall is quite near this mosque you can go there as well and enjoy so you can have like multi trips you can go to faisal mosque either you can go to manal you can also go to a centaurus mall so you can visit multiple things here at one time in one day because of all the things that really close here and definitely when it's night time you can see all the pillars light up you can see all the lights how beautiful and gloomy this is you know so you will get the view the best view you will get to see manal you will get to see the beautiful mosque the prayer itself you would enjoy and enjoy this spiritual journey although i know i'm not the only one who would feel the difference whenever we go 
to pray in the mosque, the energy there is different. And that's the energy that I felt here.